And now in our run through of pestle analysis, we'll be looking at the technological factors that influence business. Now the technological environment is the ongoing development of invention. People uh, invent new stuff, innovation, where they turn those inventions into something practical and how that's shared throughout the community and society and obviously with the influence on business. Now down the bottom of this sheet, you've got examples of technological changes. The internet, uh, it's been around since 1992. Intranets are internal uh, systems within firms social media, I don't think I'm going to say any more about that. Um, on the processing side and production side and design side, CAD systems, computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacture, use of robotics, uh, for example, in car plants, use of handheld uh, computers where people come round and survey you or read your meters or whatever. Again, a lot of that is actually done di directly online now. Um, software packages, desktop publishing, spreadsheets, word processes, databases, um, growth of online businesses. Sometimes this could be pure online businesses uh, such as Amazon, or sometimes it can be online sort of additions to what firms do. You know, um, Tesco, for example, would be a reasonable example of that. Um, integrated software packages um, and the way that firms can data mine or use big data uh, in order to access stuff. You know, um, as soon as you buy something on your Tesco club card, they've got information probably about your age, your family size, where you shop, when you shop, look at gaps for when you go on holiday, perhaps where you go on holiday, whole range of things that they know about you. A key term that we use is e-commerce, uh, the digitally enabled commercial transactions, both between and more importantly, actually, among businesses and individuals. We tend to think of e-commerce as B2C, business to consumer. In terms of value and volume, uh, B2B, business to business, is far more important. Um, various applications, uh, supermarkets, so uh, online ordering, online shopping, uh, delivery systems, both to your home and also uh, to shops, um, automated stock control, automated accounts. So as soon as you buy something, these systems are automatically updated. From there, you've got your market research. You've got your promotions where uh, you, you are made an individual offer on the basis of what you have bought. The development of music streaming systems, uh, Spotify, Apple, really good examples of those. There's the extension of that, not music streaming, but video streaming. Netflix has been around for quite a few years, but if you've noticed uh, the adverts from things like BritBox or the Disney Channel, uh, major competitors now emerging on that particular market. Minicabs, Uber, weren't what wasn't here, it didn't exist a few years ago. Now it pretty much dominates that market and Amazon would be the key firm there. You name it, it's pretty much been there or it's trying to go there. So online access has enabled firms to cut their costs. Think about a firm like Ryanair consumer does an awful lot of the uh, work for Ryanair these days, so they don't need a high street presence. They don't need uh, travel agents to uh, to book things in because we do um, a lot of that ourselves. And similarly, of course, it means that uh, firms can offer a wider range of goods. So if you want to book, get onto Amazon or wherever you want to get onto, there'll be a whole range of different ways you can get that book. You can get a Kindle version, you can get an iPad version, you can get a physical version, you can get a hardback version, you can get a paperback version, a whole range of things. Um, it has also increased power for consumers. That phrase there, information symmetry, it means that consumers aren't as ignorant as they once were. If you want something, you can check out reviews, technical reviews, you can do price comparisons, you can see what other consumers have thought about it. So you've got a lot more power than you had before. And of course, at the click of a button, you've got the ability to shop around if you don't like what you've already seen. And that's pretty much it for the technological environment.